And so I'd like to ask um, the, the president uh, to uh, start with a statement. My name is Yamako, director of um, uh, sorry, the President of Jackson. Uh, thank you very much for any of you for participating today. I would like to start by saying uh, a few things, then the details will be explained by Mr. Kuninaka. Uh, and on the, the 20th of January 2024, uh, at uh, 10.20 JST, a smart lander for investigating moon uh, landed on the moon. We have been able to confirm that it has arrived on the moon uh, surface. My name is Kuninaka, the, the Director General of um, ISIS. As uh, was explained, a smart lander for investigating moon SLIM, um, we made a, a challenge to landing on the moon. Now, uh, the SLIM uh, has um, been communicating uh, to the Earth as uh, station and it is um, receiving command from um, the Earth uh, accurately and uh, is uh, re uh, spacecraft is responding to these um, um, uh, in a normal way. However, it seems that um, the, the solar uh, cell is not generating electricity at this point in time. And since we are not uh, able to generate electricity, and so the operation is being done using batteries uh, on load. And um, based on the data, uh, um, uh, and landing has been stored uh, on this space spacecraft. And so uh, we are trying to uh, data source that to the Earth. Um, and we are making effort uh, to uh, maximize the scientific um, um, the achievement. Um, and during the descent uh, to the moon, And while hovering above the uh, the, the moon uh, surface, uh, we have been able to uh, separate uh, lab one. And lab one, uh, once um, are separated, uh, will automatically uh, send um, the uh, uh, signal, and that um, has been successful. So uh, we do consider lab one and lab two have been successfully separated. And uh, we are making an effort uh, to acquire data at this point in time. And in order for us to analyze the data, uh, we will require uh, some time. Uh, that has been the case um, uh, schedule from the, the start. And so in regards to um, sharing of the data, um, we will require a little more time. And so what we know at this point in time is, um, as I have explained, and so we are still gathering data uh, to understand the situation of uh, this uh, spacecraft. Also, uh, SLIM uh, has um, start targeted uh, the high precision landing um, uh, with an accuracy of 100 meters. Well, we require to do a, a detailed analysis of data as we have um, um, indicated in advance. And so as to whether we have been able to achieve um, 100 meter accuracy or not, um, uh, we would require a little more time for us to be able to confirm on this point. And also, um, so we will gather um, the data um, that we have been able to gather, and we are hoping of holding a press conference uh, next week. Uh, as for a, a precise uh, date, uh, we will inform you um, uh, uh, next week. And so that is what we know at this point in time. Thank you very much. Any follow-up comment from uh, Dr. Fujimoto? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the materials uh, have been distributed to everybody in the venue, and also those who are participating through uh, WebEx uh, online. We are also web streaming this uh, program. So if you haven't received the materials uh, yet, uh, please wait uh, for them. And also there will be a press release on the website of uh, JAXA, and we are updating information every now and then on the website. So please be patient to receive the materials. Thank you very much indeed. From now on, without further ado, I would like to start taking questions from the members of the press. So we have um, members joining in the venue as well as online participants. So first, uh, participants in the venue, followed by questions by online participants, if you are participating through webline, please state your name and affiliation by typing that into the chat, and then we will appoint you. So from other venue, 
please wait for the microphone. Once you get the microphone, please state your name and affiliation before you ask your question. And since there are many members of the media joining this session, so please limit your question to just one question and be brief. Now I can see some hands. Okay. Please wait for the microphone. Eito of a Sankei Shinbu newspaper. First and foremost, this time round, a slim descended from the orbit, and the landing itself, the soft landing itself, was it successful or was it a failure? So solar cell panel is not a functional, it's not working at the moment. Does that mean, is that part of the criteria of um, a successful failure of the landing itself? Thank you for your question. We believe that the soft landing itself was successful. The major reason is uh, because the space aircraft was um, able to send tele telemeter to Earth, which means that uh, most of the equipment on the spacecraft is uh, functional, working uh, properly. So as you could see online, 10 kilometers was the altitude from which descent was made. So if the descent Powered descent wasn't uh, successful, then there would have been um, a collision at a very high speed. Then the spacecraft's function would have lost, would have been lost completely. But now it is uh, still sending uh, data properly to us, which means our original purpose, objective of soft landing, was successful. I believe this is the evidence uh, for that. Thank you very. I'm very happy to hear that. If that's the case, uh, the trouble is just around uh, solar. Cell, it's a separate uh, trouble or problem from the soft landing. Thank you. The other person towards my right uh, will take a microphone to you. Uh, Kirita from NHK. No, the, uh, the solar cell is not generating uh, electricity right now. And is that a trouble of the, the solar panel itself, or is it the, the, uh, the attitude or direction, or what are the possible reasons for this? Yes, um, as you have indicated, the hardware of the solar cell and also the section receiving the electricity could be the cause of the trouble, but the other portion of the spacecraft is uh, functioning uh, correctly, whether it be temperature data or the, the pressure data, we have been able to receive all the, uh, the, the healthy uh, values. And so I don't think it's just a singular error of a solar cell uh, in itself. Um, but another point, um, it could be uh, of um, the uh, attitude, uh, not um, uh, uh, aiming at the intended um, uh, direction. So we are trying to analyze the data that we are gathering at this point in time and analyzing the status at this point. But uh, what we can say at this point in time is what I've actually explained. Well, thank you very much, the gentleman in green. Naragane, freelance writer. So what is your observation? Could I ask um, each of those three speakers to share your observations? Uh, thank you very much. Well, first and foremost, landing was made and communication was established. So a minimum success was uh, made in my view. As for the details and detailed data assessment, this will take place in the future. So what about the precision within 100 meters and so on? That assessment is still open. So going forward by assessing the data and so on, we will make um, many more findings. So first and foremost, landing was successful. So going forward, uh, Japan's technology should develop even further. And we should be able to access the lunar surface. I believe that there is a pass or opening to that now. So with the various countries going forward, there will be international cooperation, which is already underway. So we'd like to provide all sorts of knowledge and insights. That's my observation. Thank you very much. So my question was that I wanted to ask observation from each speaker. So 
As you saw on the web a quick look, the original orbit, intended orbit, was traced by the spacecraft. The orbit was in line with that, and the expected um, acceleration was also traced. The actual acceleration was also realized, so on a real-time basis, we were able to share such information result with you. So such an outreach activity was possible. This was uh, done very well. Looking at the uh, trace, 100 meter pinpoint landing, precision, precision landing was um, pretty much uh, successful. Of course, uh, regarding the accurate um, result, we still need one month or so to do the analysis, as we had already communicated with you in advance. But in that sense, we cannot say anything definitively. It is premature to try to do that. But the intended course was um, followed, so I personally observed that the pinpoint landing was also successful. This uh, technology, uh, going forward, uh, we will send more spacecrafts to the moon, and also MMX um, uh, program is underway towards Mars as well. So Artemis um, program is also saying moon to Mars should be realized. So in this context as well, Japan has established a major milestone or stepping stone to that. So I believe this was a greater step forward.